Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bella Hayes, and for those of you who don't know, my day job is I'm a casting director. As a casting director, I get asked all the time, what do I wear and what should I wear to an audition? So this video is all about what to wear at your next audition. So, so this is our prop bag that we're gonna be working with today. So 99% of everything I'll be showing you, I already owned and just repurposed. The only thing I did buy was this top from Walmart, it's for scrubs, it was $18, we are gonna return that. Um, I also asked my in-laws if I could borrow an apron. Let me show you some good wardrobe pieces that are just a staple for any closet um, and some outfits that we're probably not gonna use for auditions. So um, nice, plain, bright colored tops, always a plus. White tee, you can use this for so many things and you'll see in the video. I brought a pair of black jeans, got some fun tops. Um, oh, here's a couple things that you actually wouldn't wear. So this dress, obviously super cute, um, probably wouldn't be the best for an audition. It's kind of, um, though it's like bigger blocks, it still can be very busy and distracting. As well as this dress, again, super cute, <laughs> um, has, you know, like a floral design, which is pretty, but we try to go for solid colors just for less distraction. Cameras nowadays are pretty good and they have an easier time focusing than rather than like in the olden days. Um, but too much distraction um, can be the enemy of communication. I'm like loving the graphic tees right now, but probably not the best thing for the audition. If the director is more interested in looking at your t-shirt of what does it say, what does it mean, they're not looking at your performance. So as cute as this one is, let's save it for brunch. You don't feel like you have to go spend a ton of money buying like a whole new wardrobe or tons of props and outfits because a lot of what you already own can be repurposed for your audition. So let's get started. Would you like some coffee? It's on the house. Okay, sir, can you hear me? We need to get him up to ER stat. Sir, do you realize you were going 50 over the speed limit? I need you out of the car. I look out for me, myself, and I, and that's why I've survived so long. We are outside of the courthouse today with a unanimous verdict of guilty. The body's been dead for two days. Killer took off towards the restaurant. Okay, well that was a lot of fun. Let's talk logistics for auditions. As you can see, I just pulled some common characters that we typically audition a lot. So a cop, waiter, nurse. I did my like edgy rocker chick. Um, those are just some characters that we see over and over. Now, I don't expect actors to own a full cop uniform. I don't expect them um, to be a waiter per se. Um, so you can just pick wardrobe pieces that allude to the character. So what I did was wear all black and I tucked it in and I wore some boots. Um, for the waiter, a white shirt and you can ask to borrow an apron. Maybe you even have one already. Um, you don't need to necessarily go out and buy a full costume or rent a costume for an audition. That is just going a little too far. Also, dressing to the role is gonna make you as an actor feel more confident. Y'all, when you get to set and your hair and makeup and you're in your outfit and you're like, mm, I feel like an 1800s pilgrim, yes. We wanna bring that same feeling into the audition room so that way you feel more confident auditioning. Now again, by no means do you need to go buy or rent a costume. Use items that you already have in your closet to allude to a character. So that's all for this week's video. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next week.